All right, so we're gonna see if we can't fix the seat. <clears throat> um, so actually this is gonna occur a little faster if I can get this video uploaded, um, or at least I think it might, uh, considering I just posted the first seat video uh, yesterday. Um, so anyway, I did a little bit more research online um, and found out that uh, you can buy the wire kit, which I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, from Deer, <clears throat> it is $119, $115, something like that, for two wires and a metal bar. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. Uh, did a little bit of research. It doesn't look like um, they're much cheaper uh, many other places uh, until I found one on eBay. Um, it is the Weight Adjust Kit, uh, K&M Manufacturing. The weight adjust kit. Uh, ordered it on eBay. It was 45 bucks for the two wires. Uh, we'll see how it works out. I did want to want to talk about a couple things. Um, actually, the price difference for the seats was not as great as I expected. Um, for a general, just a plain Milsco seat, uh, which is Michigan Seat Company. You can see that right there, Jackson, Michigan. Uh, this is the the V5300 or something like that. Um, you can find these online uh, for approximately 500 bucks. Uh, in Deer, they're 563. Uh, you can find a couple of uh, cheaper ones, but either between shipping or not being able to verify that they were indeed um, Milsco seats. They had a couple. There were a couple really kind of shady ones that I was like, you know, I found one for like 269 bucks, and it looked very different. So um, anyway. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take this seat off there. Uh, and what we're going to replace is two wires right there. And then there's a bar and nut in here. I'm not going to get the nut out. Um, and this bar right here. Uh, this bar relates to the handle right here. And so we are going to see if we can't fix it. Um, what's happened in this seat is one of these wires, um, this end of the wire, which loops around back here in the back part of the seat has busted. So, um, see if we can fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the seat off and we'll go from there. All right, so the sun's setting, so hopefully the light's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> I basically just have the seat turned upside down. You can see I've already pulled off um, the bottom uh, seat cushion. The bottom seat cushion is just held on by those two bolts right there. I um, believe it is a 3-8. Yep, yeah, 3-8. Um, so you need a 3-8 socket. Pull those two bolts off. Hopefully this just falls off. Yep. Perfect. Pull those two bolts out. Don't want to lose those. Put them right there. Now hopefully when I turn this over, I have not looked yet, we can get to the mechanism. We can, perfect. Okay, so, spin it around here. You can see this is what broke right here. Um, it goes into this assembly back here and you tighten it up right here, so that's what broke. Um, so that's kind of good to know. Now, the problem is, is I gotta figure out how to get everything out of here and tightened up. So I'm gonna work on that, I'll get everything out uh, and then tell you what I did. All right, so, um, yeah, this seat has a few more problems than, than I expected. Uh, after I got into it, I realized that our gas shock absorber back here is, is busted. Um, and then I went to go take the uh, bolt off right here. And this is actually wallowed out on here, so you can't turn it. And it almost looks like it's bent, if you can see that in the video. Um, with this... Obviously, that needs help. So, yeah, I'm not so sure that uh, I just don't need a new seat, uh, period, and just go from there. So, um, I think I'm going to explore this seat a little bit more. I, you can fix it. Um, it. I think it's very possible to fix. And maybe I'll go ahead and get the new wire in here, but in the near future, I'll go ahead and get, in, get a new seat. So, anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and see if I can get this bolt out up here. Um, just so I can get the new wires in there, um, that'll at least give me a little bit more support. So anyway, that's that for right now. 
All right, so with a little bit of, of fussing around, what we've, or what I've managed to uh, come up with uh, looks pretty good. Um, so we've got these wires replaced right here. Um, this was not bent, I think it's just the way it was sitting in there. This, however, does not turn this. You need a set of ice grips to turn it. Uh, there's just no grip left on, on this uh, knob right there. So I could either glue it on or I can get a new one. I'll uh, explore both options. I, I really don't want to buy a new seat. I mean, new seats are expensive, obviously. Um, and I mean, this is going on a 2,000 or 2,200 hour machine. So, um, you know, it's going to have some wear. Biggest concern I have, aside from just the shock, the shock kit's like 70 bucks, something like that. Um, the biggest issue I have right now is the fact that these springs back here are actually wearing through um, that uh, mounting, and so I may very well have to, uh, you know, get a new mount here soon. Um, I, you know, I just don't want this to turn into an absolute money pit. Uh, I mean, you got $45 for the wires, you know, then you're at $70 for a gas shock, and then if you need this piece right here, you know, you're probably at additional. You know, if you can find it, we're going to say 100 just for good measure, and then you got to deal with the springs. Um, so, I mean, you're, you're talking a couple hundred bucks um, to get it fixed when you could go buy a brand new one um, for, you know, a little over 500 So, or 550 something like that. Um, so, anyway, I'll uh, explore some options here. It is a little bit stiffer um, now that I have the wires back in there, so that's at least good. It'll at least make it somewhat serviceable until I make a decision. Um... But yeah, so that's uh, that's progress so far. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this um, back seat pad just to see what I'm dealing with with the shock absorber to see how hard it might be to replace. I really don't want to have to deal with those springs taking them on and off, stuff like that. So um, I don't know if I'll include that in the video, but uh, it's at least somewhat serviceable for the moment. Um, a little bit easier riding than it was, and if it breaks again, you know, we tried. Um, if the shock absorber was not broken, I would be uh, much happier, but you know, things happen. So uh, this will probably be the end of this video, um, and I'll keep you updated as I move forward with my seat quandary.